Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Right, so today I'll be testing Fiona, a new hero for Inferno Faction. But before I do that, let me just uh, mention what's happening with this uh, Ubisoft event. So obviously some of you watched my video and it was working for me. Okay, uh, but there are so many issues and I've been talking to Huey about it. Okay, and they're working on resolving them. However, the campaign, they were supposed to do this campaign in April or May and it has been so delayed so long and still back. It's not really looking good for them. Okay, but it's definitely worth once, once it go up again. It's if, it, if you're working, okay, we'll be able to save a lot of money on it. If you're spending on the game, if not, then obviously it's nothing for you. However, hopefully it will get really, um, everything will get sorted as soon as because I, I want to use these coupons on Fiona if I, I'll be lucky, okay, if I get the coupon, coupon like 50% off, then I'll buy it from Huey Shop Up Gallery. If not, then I'll just buy her from um, uh, Google Play, okay, that, 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 that's my plan. Okay, anyway, let's jump into the game right now. Um, Okay, so uh, for those of you, uh, hello Mafi, for those of you who are new to the uh, streams, um, keep in mind, everything you see today is on the test server and everything is due to change, okay, there might be shadow nerfs, there might be uh, buffs, whatever, okay, so what you can see here today might be totally different than uh, what can happen on global? Obviously, today the main focus is Fiona. We know that there will be also a Spartan weapon released. Uh, I'm not gonna test that weapon today, Haivicha. Uh, I'll try to focus on Fiona. I only got like always an hour and a half to do it, guys. Okay, so keep that in mind. I'll try to do as much as possible, but we got so many content creators right now, and all of them got access to test server, so they will be able uh They'll be able to do their own testing. Okay, as you can see, there's quite a lot of things happening. We got this event, we got new thing training with Battle Scar. This will be covered by other um, content creators. So I will not go over that in depth today. I will, however, give you guys a sneak peek. Okay, so after Fiona has concluded, I'll give you a sneak peek of Battle Scar. I did not even touch it yet. Okay, I did not. Uh, touch it. Sol is working on it. Okay, he is going quite in depth of it on it so i believe uh it will be uh, worthwhile to actually check out his channel and follow him for the new video um i believe he's working on that even as well i'm not sure what others are working on but my main focus as always will be showing you guys pvp arena basically formations i will not be going over cog and stuff like that there will be other content creators who will deal with that because uh, obviously we've got so many and it's good to just split the work instead of me just doing everything like it used to be, okay? Because uh, it's just just so, so tiring, okay? Uh, obviously i got other things as well. And I believe I'll be able to do more, okay? Starting next week, I'm starting a new job with better hours, so I'll be able to work on some content and videos uh, when my kids are asleep. So, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to do more. Uh, for example, the the... The way I've done the faction championship, I'll be able to do it as well because obviously we got we run over first generation and second generation of the champions, champion units. So um, yeah, it will be fun to see again who, which faction is uh, performing. Uh, is it going to be a tower again? Well, with Naga right now, maybe it will be. Yeah, obviously, I got quite a lot of hate for showing Naga tank, but guys, this worked, okay? This worked for me on the test server. It did not work in every scenario, but it did work, okay? And if you're higher power than your enemy, it will work even better for you, okay? Obviously, this Naga was a maxed out Naga, okay? This Naga is quite strong on my own over here, just to show you guys before I go to Fiona. Um, right, so fancy if yes. Right, so this is Naga with all the planets on uh, uh, which one if it's chat? Is it this? Yeah, well, obviously, this is something I'll show you a little bit later. Yeah, uh, don't worry, uh, I'll get back to it. Yeah, so uh, uh this Naga is uh, has full planets and everything, okay. Uh, so this is why it worked, okay, all the all the stats. Obviously, my Naga on a 
the global server is much stronger. It has like nine nine hundred thousand power, even close to one million. Okay, but this, this will work. Okay, so yeah, definitely Naga, a really strong pick right now. But this is not about the Naga. Let's go and let's check what Fiona does. Okay, let's see if there's a difference between that that Fiona and the Fiona on the poster. Uh, three days ago, there was a bug. Whenever we received Fiona, we couldn't play. Okay, so <laughs> luckily it got fixed. Um, so I'm quite happy about that. I'm able to actually show you guys that. And obviously there's going to be a skin. As you can see, this is still something that is missing here. Um, yeah, so this, this is quite a nice skin. You obviously had a chance to sit on a... Uh, on the fan mail as well. I'm not sure if you guys do that, but when you try to share, you can see Fiona here and a little bit of information. Okay, uh, it's obviously lacking, lacking all that info here. Mm, but well, it is what it is. It is, it is a test server. Obviously, it will be changed. So the spells Fiona as good as uh, Infernal Roar. Okay, this spell has been in the game already, so we know what it does. Uh, Fire Arrow, Bloodlust. In a new spell, Hellhound Phantom, because uh, Fiona had was a spe had speciality in Heroes of Might and Magic 3 was Hellhound, for those of you who did not play Heroes of Might and Magic 3, okay, so she's got Hellhound Phantom spell, and this is a new spell which deals damage, fire type spell damage actually, to enemy units within a, within a large range, decreases the unit damage and attack speed by 20% each, and inflicts one stack of Scorch on them. Each stack decreases unit damage reduction by 2% and lasts for the whole battle. Scorched can stack up to 50 times, so that's a 100% unit damage reduction. After casting, increases unit damage and crit hit damage of fr all friendly unit Inferno units by 20% for 8 seconds, and the cooldown is 8 seconds. And that's with actually uh, the Masteries. Okay, let's, let's go through the Masteries. Uh, so the Masteries is obviously, this will be the mandatory. Fire magic, okay, everything here is just like uh, offensive because of the devil and a phantom and uh, abyss lord, defensive because why not, everything else is, uh, right, and obviously mysticism, okay. So this is what I went with, obviously there might be different choices, stuff like that, uh, welcome everyone. Uh, but this is a mandatory, because you want to keep that at 8 seconds constantly, right, because you'll keep this buff on. Uh, so that's quite important. Now, what she does, okay, so obviously we have this um, the first with well, the one star, which is every new hero has. So basically, uses infernal tactics to influence the combat efficiency of different faction units, decreases cooldown and mana cost of fire type spells by 20%. Okay, so that's quite good. And here, obviously, we have additional info. So, uh, castle minus 10%, rampart plus 4, necropolis minus 6, stronghold plus 2. Inferno plus 10, Tower minus 6, Underground, uh, which is Dungeon, <laughs> okay, plus 4, Fortress minus 8, and Conflux plus 8, and Cove plus, plus 2, right? Uh, now, moving on forward, increase 2 stars, we get increases Fiona mana regeneration by 2, Health and Phantom additional increases unit damage, and crit hit damage of friendly Inferno use by 20%, okay, so this is, this is, uh, the that the part is from the two star, and uh, then decreases the combat efficiency of enemy order of enemy order units by three percent, and increases crit hit damage of friendly infernal units by twenty percent. When friendly infernal units gain hatred or soul points, also increases the unit damage and unit damage reduction by two percent for each whole battle. It's up to twenty times. Okay, so this is basically for the future units as well as up is lord currently. Okay, um. Now, at four stars, by training demons, Infernal Roar increases attack speed of friendly Infernal units by 175% for 8 seconds. That is quite a lot. It also grants each friendly melee unit a flaming shield that absorbs damage equal to 30% of the max HP melee unit, which is your devil. Furthermore, it increases penetration of friendly ranged and caster units. It doesn't say Inferno, right? So basically all friendly range and caster units by 700. When an enemy melee unit attacks a unit with flaming shield, the attack against a stack of scorch, which reduces the damage reduction. So quite strong. The longer the fight goes on, the better she is. 
Uh, so obviously I think this suits well the healing meta because uh, it's similar to grief on heart. The longer the fight goes, the more damage it does. Okay, so these are head skills. Okay, it looks strong on paper. Okay, um, but let's see how it performs. So uh, what I'll do first is I'll start with basic. I'll start with like full infernal comp and I'll move forward. Okay, I'll move forward to the meta teams and stuff like that. But what I want to see is the clash of Fiona. Over here, let me just check if I got the domains. Yeah, so it's nerf compared to China. Okay, so th this is what we got. Okay, so a simple uh, test. It's going to be free test. Fiona versus uh, zero. Let's make sure it's a mirror match. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Just three quick fights with different uh, positionings to see who scored it over here. Alright, let's see mana situation on Fiona. Okay, obviously Zeron buffs Devil quite significantly, so that is a big change. Okay, so Fiona loses. Fiona loses again. Yes, if you check, but that was probably something we could have expected. And obviously this is a very, very basic formation, okay? But it's not nothing significant here, okay? It's not nothing. As, as as you can see, when the devil actually don't fight Fiona's devil, the fight is the other way around, yeah. Uh, so definitely look at that damage of Abyss Lord down compared to the Zeron's devil, okay? So this is basically <laughs> double, well, not even that close to double of that in the same amount of time. So obviously Fiona does not rely on the Arc Devil. Okay, although Arc Devil's damage is similar, okay, but it's 2 1 for Zeron, so Zeron wins, yeah. Anyway, let's move forward. The team to beat today will be obviously Adela. Okay, first, so the way I am going to do it, guys, and uh, hope you'll uh, be happy with it, I'll put Adela as an enemy and I'll gradually improve Fiona's team, but I will also run it with Zeron to see who's performing better, okay. So let's do that. So obviously this will be a really strong team, guys. Okay, this will be a really, really strong team to beat. Okay, so if we don't beat it, that means it's not Fiona that's a problem. It is probably Inferno as a faction overall. Okay, because this is going to be the meta team right now. But this is what we want to beat, okay? Because most of us are playing against that. I'm not sure about your servers, but there's three Adelas on my server. Right, I'm not even gonna use BG in that situation, okay? This is well run. Uh, if you're playing Inferno, this is what you want to beat. <laughs> that is true, that is true, but 
let's let's do that. Yeah, let, let, let's do that. That is a good shot. Okay, which uh, uh just put the third tank in, okay? Because it is well is currently this team is just too strong. Okay, so let's just do that Adela. I'm quite happy with that, okay? This is what most Adelas uses use anyway. Uh actually I believe Paladin is a better tank than that. <laughs> yeah, obviously if I win, if I manage to win with Fiona against that, I'll improve the enemy team. But right now, let's keep it the way it is. So this is... Okay. Now... Um, hold on, guys. Whoa, wait. <laughs> Okay, so, um, got a couple people asking me to test their formations, okay, but before I actually move to them, uh, let's, let's just start with something simple, okay. Yeah, okay, so there are a couple of variants people want me to play, but... Let's start with conflicts. Okay, so we had a little bit more damage here. Uh, I could put Oracle, but that would be a little bit too strong. Okay, but let's see what... Yeah, okay, I, I can do that. Or Oracle is quite good, okay? So so maybe I'm jumping a little bit ahead. Uh, Like I'm trying, I'm, I'm making it a little bit stronger than I was supposed to, but let, let's try with that. Before I jump to the obvious, uh, yeah, CV chat exactly, uh, this is what I'm thinking, right? And that seems quite strong, all right? I'll do different kind of formations before I jump to the obvious meta one, okay? Mm. But yeah, I, against this Adela team, I don't believe anything less than three or, f three or four as a, uh, ultra rare units will last, okay? And obviously, uh, all the Inferno players are quite invested in these units. Obviously, this is something I would definitely change, but for the, t for the time being, let's skip it. And then we can replace it with something because I don't believe even with weapon, this is a maxed up weapon uh, as well on that unit. I don't believe this unit is quite good. Okay, uh, there are better options for that. But at the moment, let's just go with it. And let's see. Okay, so the devil, devil will jump onto the back line here. And then I'm going to swap that line. First, I'll put zero in here. Then I'm gonna swap swap the line so he jumps on the arches there. All right, let's see. All right, keep in mind, guys. Oracle is performing quite good. Let's see how it performs in this scenario. Okay. Right. <laughs> that seems rather low. That's very low. 
Yeah, that's that's the problem. I think if you chat with Inferno at the moment, they need their second champions. Okay, but let's let's see the difference between that and Zidane. But we know that in the future, Inferno will be quite strong. But that's mainly because uh, it's getting all the releases faster than other factions. Right, let's speed it up. Okay. Well, still not there. Yeah. So zero doesn't work well to uh, doesn't work well as well. But now let's get back to Fiona. Actually, no. Let's, let's do something crazy before we do that, okay? Let's see if that is that is an issue with the hero or this is an issue with the team, basically. Yeah, so 51 seconds with Ziren. Thirty nine seconds with Relent. Yeah, so def definitely the paid heroes are working better. Now let's get back to Fiona. Let's swap the lights and then I'm going to put something else here beside that. Okay, 51 seconds, let's put zero in. <laughs> so DG is something that counters devil if it just says remove it I'm gonna do it before I move forward because uh, I'm gonna change that formation okay I'll run what uh, I logic wanted me to test because right, it's similar to that so that'll be inferno okay let's remove that and let's put something <laughs> I could have had a diamond color yeah that, that will work as well I don't know why I just wanted to put dwarf in well there you go just make sure your enemy doesn't have Dragon Golem, which is quite impossible at this stage, because even a three-star Dragon Golem will uh, still be flexible. Okay, so that, that that's that's curious. Okay, so obviously I put quite a weak unit here. Let's just put Naga. Yeah, which I think the same as that. <laughs>
Yeah, obviously coincidence. No, it's not, okay? That guy is just so strong. Yeah, 35 seconds. Right. Let's revive that. <laughs> Back DG. But yeah, but that, that's the problem, okay? The reason why I'm testing against Adela with Dragon Golem is everyone has a Dragon Golem right now, okay? Even a free star is a counter to that. Anyway, uh, so iLogic's running something similar, but Inferno Trio plus. Uh, Conflux Trio it he runs that. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> okay. So he wanted me to test that formation. So since I'm already doing a half Conflux, Oops, close the wrong window. Uh, one second, guys. Okay, there we go. Uh, yes, Tal, I'll move to that as well, okay? Uh, I'm just starting with that, and I'm going to move to um, Dungeon, and then I'll move to Cove, okay? Because Inferno and Cove is something I'm looking to run. Uh, so we'll see how it performs. Obviously, at the moment, I'm just running against Adela, but I'll change that as well uh, once we find a team that has the best results, basically. Yeah, not impressive. Now let's swap the lines. Yeah, Oracle is really good, so if you invested in that, it's really worth it. However, there's only like one or two players play conflicts. <laughs> but during my test, I was really impressed by it. Okay, so yeah, that does not work too well. Okay, added these two. But let's, let's revert that and let's just add first Judy to that team. Okay, because this, this will be like m more common like if you were remaining that. Yeah, let's see if there's a chance. Hey Adrian, welcome to the stream. Let's see if there's a chance to play this mix. Maybe if we add Judy and Sister. Okay, maybe, maybe that, that will work. And not at the moment, Adrian, no. Basically, uh, Fiona can win against Adela if you remove Dragon Golem. Hello, Bartosz. Okay, 45 seconds. That's with Judy. Let's replace Judy with sister. And then add both of them to see the difference. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even using Naga at the moment, guys. Okay, it's just... It's just too po powerful. And I'm very close to having similar Naga on my server once I get uh, Quiet Pearl event. Okay, look at that. That is, that is quite good. Yeah, so Sister... Does no work. Let's add both of them. Okay, and let's say you can't afford Oracle. Bam, okay, so you can't afford it. Okay, you only have these two, and you put Judy in. 
Right? More defense now. Like a pop. Okay, still can't win, but it looked better. Okay, I'm not happy with how Arc Devil performs. Okay, I'm just gonna kick it. Don't need that unit. Screw it. We put Naga in. And then I'm gonna move to something else. Yeah, so Fiona does not trigger Magic Awaken quite often. Uh, let's see. Still better than Devil. Well, against Adela, right now, no. Because uh, Adela has Dragon Golem. If I remove Dragon Golem, she wins, okay? But... Mm. Let's see. So her ultimate... I can't really say. But anyway... So yeah, this is the Conflux team. Now let's move on to Dungeon and then we're gonna move to... Uh... To another one to, to cope, okay. Uh... Okay, so Castle Inferno will be at the end. If you chat, that might be for something else, okay? But I don't, I don't have dragon skills maxed out, okay? Let's let's just double check. I believe I only have club maxed out, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's fine. Yes, Mono. Uh the castle formation will be at the end, okay? The blasphemy up formation, okay? The good and evil, and evil, okay? This this will be the last one because I believe this will be the strongest one, okay? But right now, let's move on to. Uh, the the dungeon one, okay. So uh, I'll start with that because I believe this is the stronger version of it, and um, obviously that and that, and we'll get rid of it. And let's put uh, the devil, okay. Let's put the devil back in the devil, the devil. Right, obviously, uh, the person who wanted me to test that is I uh, wanted to run something different. Uh, but let's 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 run this, and then I'll change to what he wanted me to see. Okay, so yeah, I got more of this. Yeah. Okay, so I got Judy. I got that, and this time around we'll get that. I'll switch the lines as well. Yeah, okay, let's run it. Guys, this is this was just a conflux Fiona, it's not even a solid team. Look Okay, so uh, don't don't get your <laughs> don't be down. Okay, this is just the beginning of the stream. But look at this. Okay, this is a much better performance. Okay, so I started with conflicts, but look at this. There's a win.
Yeah, so that looks quite good. Let's swap this around. Yeah, I only keep Devil in this Fiona's team because everyone has, has Devil, okay? And <laughs> Inferno players love the Devils. Okay, so it's 1-1. One, one. Who is going to be the winner? Devil's second awakening will be a tank. Two one right. So someone suggested to put three units in the same Okay, so Abyss Lord is definitely performing quite well under Fiona, and this is what Fiona brings to the table. Okay, Zero is all about Devil Bar. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let's do that. That was the win information. I believe this was the win information, and let's do. Do that, Yeah, of course, sister is a tank. Sister is a bait for all everyone that can go into the backline, same as Naga Archer. So yeah. Right. So yeah, this team can win against this Adela, but obviously this is an not something that most Adelas will be running. What you are going to face, and this is what I'm gonna do right now. Okay. Uh, This is something more like it, okay? This is what you will be against. Let's see that now. Yeah, so this is what you'll be probably against. If you're playing a high level, if you're playing a, in a server that has these strong players and they manage to get the Sixta Naga Queen, okay? So, yeah. <laughs> this is why we don't play Naga at the tests right now, right? So let's revert it because I had someone, someone said an interesting thing. So Fiona in that setup will perform better than Dragon Mutara. Okay, let's let's run it. Let's put Dragon Mutara here, and we'll put Zeron as well. Let's see. Let's see if it's just about the team. Okay, maybe this team is something that will that is just a counter, and maybe Hero does not really matter. It will be a good choice to replace the Emperor. Oh, obviously, yeah. Seems like it. Sadly, I don't have Faceless, and I don't have uh, what's her name. Evil Sorceress, but maybe it's time I should actually invest into it. Yeah, so definitely Fiona over Dragon Mutare in this scenario.
Mateus, if you're playing tower, then definitely yes. If you're looking for something versatile, then uh, Seraph is a good choice. But I don't even have six star second awakened Seraph, and my Naga at five star is already destroying everyone else. So for me, Naga is a better option. Seraph brings a lot of utility for the whole team and can be used in different many formations, while Naga mostly is successful under Adela or Astrals. Yeah, so definitely Fiona runs better than both of these heroes. Right, so I'm quite happy with this Inferno comp. Okay, this this can beat Adela without Naga. Uh, that is basically a highlight. Okay, it can beat Adela but without Naga. Once you put Naga in, it's a different story. Right, so uh, what's next? Next was uh, Cove. Okay, sadly, Kov don't have any strong tanks. The Kov team, Regnan Archer is good. Uh, let's run, because obviously, let's keep, let's keep the devil in at the moment. Okay, I will replace him eventually in this formation. Alright, so let's run this at the moment, and I'm gonna drop Devil, and I'm gonna put. Uh, no, actually, I won't. Don't do it there. I have too many units here. Okay, well, that, that that should be okay. Let's run that. Let's change it. Okay, I can replace Judy. Uh, well, let, let, let's get, let's uh, let's play defensive version first, and then I'll replace uh, Judy. Oh yeah, I forgot about Paladin, totally, totally forgot about Paladin. Because, oh yeah, so Philosophers, I don't want to do that, there's a reason why I didn't put Paladin in that team yet, is because it will be more castle oriented, and I want to test Infernal with castle at the end, okay? This is why I'm skipping Paladin at the moment, guys. Obviously Paladin will do better than BG in this situation as well, but I'm keeping Paladin away, because uh, I'm going to run a different formation at the end. Okay, so uh, the Paladin will actually... Uh, Paladin will actually join this team, okay? So, uh, yeah, let's let's remove that and let's put uh, right national. Okay, so still dungeon performs quite well. And now let's do that. Okay, let's put the pala since we don't have Judy. Oops, Paladin is here. Somewhere. Yeah, so it still doesn't look like a castle formation, so we can run it. I can do that if it's yeah. But yeah, I can do that. There's there's no many necro units you can add. Okay, no bad. Obviously, that's devil jumping into the sister. Okay, so uh, 
Let's change it. Let's let let's let Devil jump into the arches. Onto the arches. Okay, FB cat, you and devil in the open line. Yeah, so so far, dungeon can beat it. Okay, let's go with the... The undead necropolis one, okay. Hmm. Okay, let's run it without Judy first. Yeah, I'll do that first. And I'm gonna run the same thing with uh Hold on, they should be together, no? Let's make it like that. Yeah, let's do them jumping on arches first. Let's do the domain. Okay, let's try that first. And I want to see if that team will perform better with a uh, Griffin Hut. Even if Fiona does not perform too well right now, I am still getting her because she will be my second team, okay? The Inferno will be my second team and I know I'll get Fallen Angel and the Baron, Baron Lord eventually and this is where she will start shining, okay? So yeah, this team still not. Let's see Griffon Hut. Maybe it's time I should actually invest into Dungeon a little bit as well. Hmm. 
Yeah, Griffin Hart definitely better in that scenario than the Fiona. Yeah, it used to be Tower, Inferno, Rampart. Right now it's Tower with Adela at the moment. Inferno and the third team is a complete mess. Uh, I wanted to build Cove, but because I have Seer that is not going anywhere. So Seer at the moment is Inferno Cove, basically. The Rampart team, I could not actually... I didn't have enough diamonds to buy the Blade Dancer. So I skipped it and my third team is a complete mess right now i don't know what i'm gonna do with it it's still a rampart at the moment but rampart without play dancer is basically a team just to be a team so what i'm doing right now is i'm moving like i'm playing like adela astral and inferno basically i'm splitting my adela team into two different in cog and just to get to top eight usually and that that's it basically i can't really compete against the top players in my group at the moment if i want to play inferno the best way will be mixing it with danger at the moment, at the moment, yes, but there's also one more test that I will do, and I'll jump into that right now. And uh, we, I see it on one team, will be with Sister and Judy, the other team will be Fawn and IP, so the third team, let's go with Sister and Fawn then. Right, so let's do the last test. The last team against this Adela, and then we're gonna play against other teams okay because obviously Adela is team to beat okay Adela is top tier meta right now this is a hero that is just so so good um right so uh okay so this is the team I wanted to run <laughs> Andrew J. That uh, is actually quite spot on. Okay, Inferno currently in a really bad state when it comes because of the units. Okay, you basically have only three units you can use. Yeah, so basically this is what I believe will have the best results. Okay, so obviously the four castle units that call for everything. Okay, this is these are four units every team should be using. No exceptions. You can only use these three when it comes to Inferno. All other units are either outdated or no really in the meta. Okay, and one additional, which can be Dark Elemental, because he fits everything as well. Okay, so let's see how it is. Okay, remember guys, I'm playing against Adela without Naga. Okay, so before I run dungeon, I thought this is going to be the strongest team, okay? The dungeon formation is quite surprisingly good. And the result is as I expected it, okay? I expected that result against this Adela. But this Adela has ways of improvement, okay? And the main improvement for that is Naga. So similar result to the infer uh, to the dungeon composition. Now let's run Naga. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove that and just put Naga. Okay, this is still counter devil.
that crazy naga on the list. Right, but as I said, there's too many counters to that team, okay? Let's say you actually don't have TG, which is a shame, you should, okay? This is a unit you should have, okay? So now the devil will be able to jump onto the archers, okay? Uh, this is the worst scenario for Adela now. Right, still can't, still can't win against that team. Obviously, there were people saying that I'm doing some shady stuff because uh, my Naga is not dying, right? So, yeah, let's remove Judy. What can we add? Okay, we still need some healing. Let's add Genie. Okay, let's replace sister with a ch uh, sorry Judy. With, oh no, sorry, I got sister. Ah, I confused that a little bit. Okay, I should have put something else. I'll put like damage dealer. I got too much healing now. Okay, I have too much healing, but I don't have Judy immunity, so the archers should die. There's no dragon golem protecting them as well. So yeah, there we go. That should have been a win. Yeah, there's nothing stopping devil right now, and let's see how that devil does with Fiona. Decent. But that's again, this is a Della that has no protection against Devil, and if you have no protection against Devil, no matter who you play, you'll probably lose. Okay, so I'm quite quite happy this concludes Adela's test. Now we'll do Griffon Heart. Okay, Griffon Heart is too Currently, I believe, second strongest hero in the game. Yeah, as long as you have one counter against the devil, it's easy to win against Inferno right now. Uh, so, yeah, let's do that. The obvious. castle units and four under units right so currently this is like second strongest team nice Main reason about Dragon Golem to counter Devil. Even a three star Dragon Golem is a great counter. Plays BK with DA, no a chance. No, I like I like BK. I'll do it eventually, uh Tal, don't worry. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh where is the devil jumping? The devil is jumping onto that line. Okay, so let's let, let's see that first and then I'm gonna swap the lines. Okay, so yeah, we can win. That is good news. Obviously, there's Dark Elemental in that team, there's no Dark Elemental in that team, which we can sort. Now let's change the lines. Okay, so now the Devil and Decay will jump onto Sister. Okay, let's see who can kill the sister faster because this will be 
probably the winner of this fight and if they are, can actually kill the system. That's good, right? So we can win. It's still not devil, okay? It's Abyssal who's doing so much damage. And obviously Dark Elemental here, okay? So let's add Dark Elemental to the enemy team. But that means I need to take one of the unit. Okay, let's do Judy. Judy is... It's good to have Judy there, but it's funny. But as, as someone mentioned, Necro units have their own immunity, and Sister should be still able to tank Devil for a long time, and there'll be more damage on that side. Okay, so. Hmm. Well, still a win. I think that's because, yeah, okay, let's swap him around. Devil jumped into the. Let's see if that helps. Nope, still Fiona, okay, so so far Fiona is superior to Griffin Hearts team. But okay, so we're we're still winning, right? <laughs> Let's see how it plays out if we actually the DG. Okay, so only two castle units. <laughs> we still win. Now let's put Judy back on, okay? So we're going defensive, but we're not going to use Paladin. Okay, so now we got double protection against the devil. And Fiona still wins. Okay, so definitely Fiona over Griffon Hut. Can win against Adela, can win against Griffon Hut. And I believe there's no one else right now that matters. Then if I change the lines, okay, let, 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 let's do that. Yeah, so BK can't kill a sister, but devil can, and that's a big difference, okay? Griffon has to lose Okay, but that was them jumping on a... 
devil, yeah? Let's try again. Sw swap the places. Maybe there's something like that. Yeah, full access, everything dead, oh, it's dead here as well. There's no paladin here. There's no paladin on the enemy team. No spawns unless you're behind on the stream. No, actually, Adela wasn't that impressive on the on the test server when I've done it. But Fiona so far can win against Adela, can beat Griffin Hart. So basically, this is what Tal wants me to do, okay? And I, I don't think this will change anything, but we'll see, right? And let's make Devil Jump onto something different. Let's make Devil Jump. Onto the Devil Defense, okay? Gain two defenses against the uh, against the devil. And Fiona still wins. So she can definitely destroy Griffin. Abyslord and both Venom Spawn. Okay, Venom Spawn is doing quite good as well. That was a close one. But that's finally Fiona losing, okay? <laughs> so it took a while, but yes, we brought down Fiona. It took us like 20 tries. Oh, why would I do that? Why would I want a Freddy of his friends? Both of these units are so outdated. Yeah, uh, as I said before, I'm not doing any COG, okay? Uh, COG will be... COG fights will be brought up by uh, different uh, um, content creators. I focus on arena fights mostly. Uh, so, yeah. Right, uh, believe we can we can also run against Tazar. Okay, I believe Boragus is nowhere, sadly nowhere close to other heroes. Um, <laughs> so many COG people. Yeah, but as I said, I am not focusing my streams on COG. I only have one and a half hour, and I want to find best DOC, the best arena team, to keep play rank 1 in arena, stuff like that, okay, to beat people actually. COG has different rules, obviously, you want three good teams, you need to split your units, but it's not my goal on the stream at the moment. Maybe if I had three hours of streaming, then maybe I would that, but not right now. Uh, so yeah, basically this, is a this I believe is the strongest Fiona team, the, the um, what's it called? Then the Angeon one works well as well. 
and everything else didn't work quite well against Adela. Okay, this is a team that could fight good against Adela, and obviously the dungeon one could beat Adela, so I say it's good. Here's this team with Nimus. Ah, the skills. Okay, so Nimus will. I have level one skills, yeah. Oh, I've got something here. Alright, yeah, but I'm not even using any of the adjutants. But yeah. Definitely Fiona is a long-term investment. Right now, Inferno, there's nothing beside the three, okay? Basically two. The devil is in a bad state, okay? Oh yeah, I can I can show you guys the Fiona Jutan skill as well, yeah. Right, so basically this concludes the Fiona's test, I believe. She is worth the investment if you play in Inferno long term. Right now, there's only Venom Spawn and Abyss Lord that do something. Devil can do something, but there's just too many counters, okay? Uh, obviously, we're gonna have release of Hell Baron and Fallen Angel, and this will change the game. If you're running Fiona with Dungeon, you will do good. If you're running Fiona with... Uh, yes, uh, yes, Hadris, just two minutes. Uh, if you're running Fiona with... Castle, you'll do good as well, but no, you will not be able to beat Adela with Naga, okay? You can't beat Adela with Naga right now. Okay, you can beat Adela without Naga, but with Naga, there is no chance. So first of all, now some leaks, okay? I'm not gonna go through all these new things in depth because other content creators will pick it up, okay? There's so many of us right now, uh, let them earn the bread as well. So, uh... Let's see what units we got. Okay, so we got Venom Spoon, Abyss Lord, Blackguard, Sword Dancer, and Troll in the altar. Uh, adjutant skills for Fiona. She is. Right. When a friendly hero casts an ultimate spell, friendly inferno units each gain a shield. Okay, that should be a shield. Uh, or bubble, I don't know, that absorbs damage equal to 20% of their max HP for 10 seconds. When an enemy melee unit attacks a unit with a... so maybe a fire shield, uh, the attacker gains a stack of Scorch. Okay, so I think this will be a fire shield. Yeah. Well, a flaming shield, yeah. There we go. And obviously, it works on all factions. So quite a good adjutant as well, okay? That definitely worth it because friendly hero ultimate spell. Uh, so hmm. definitely, definitely worth it. Yeah. Yeah, and there's the attack speed as well. So quite good. I might actually go for it as well in the, my arena team. Yeah, good for. Yeah, Boragus, bro. I'm not gonna spend a hundred just to get adjutant skills, guys. No, I'm not that crazy. But he's he's quite good. That is true. Yeah, I remember that now. He's quite good, but pff, I'm not gonna spend that kind of money for it. Okay, so first of all, training Battleska. Right, I don't know what it does, I didn't even touch it as you can see, Soul is all over it guys, follow his channel, it will be worth it, okay? Uh, I can just read, no I can't even write it. So what you, how it works is there's some treasures, okay? You can have them for free or you can uh, hand them with diamonds, obviously everyone will do it for free, let me just do one run for diamonds woo I got so much loot okay so wow I got even an orange one that is quite good right so I got some stuff okay so I spent five thousand what's that okay so the two the, the different treasure hunt zones as well uh, okay so I choose the zone okay so obviously you can only do 70 pulls you can do a hundred you got treasure hunts Something free, okay, so that, that's it, okay, so let's see what I got, 
As I said, this will be just a quick one. Demonic Nether Saber. So that was an orange one. Okay, so the power values are quite low. Okay, 4,000 only. Okay, quick activation. So obviously I can uh, upgrade it. So you need copies of that. And you start it up. All it of it gives stats. That is quite good. Affiliation set, freedom and order. This weapon once held by died in battle. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so there will be affiliations. Yeah, so this, this is something that will be quite complicated, guys. So make sure see Sol, he's on the chat here. Follow his channel. There will be a there will be a video about that explaining it. So uh let's let's look forward to it. Okay, so basically from 5,000 diamonds I go to orange, couple blues, and green. Let's do the same on the other one. Okay, again. One orange, couple purple, so a better yield event actually. Okay, let's do that quick. Okay, then we got sets. Okay, so you got collection, progress. Uh, so it's Battle of the Sortify, Magic and the Black Dragon, Battle of Restoration, Freedom of Order, Silence of the Wild, and Lofty Tribute. So what happens? Okay, I got some. Oh my god. There we go again. What do I do here? Okay. Gives set buffs. So I got set. And I got 15% bar boost to the stats. It's glowing. It's doing whatever it's doing. Then I got well, I got set here and I activate it on six round per units. I do that. I'm so good on six round hold units. Okay, so it does some buffs for the rampart units. It does some buffs for the stronghold units. Okay, so it is going to be quite important, I think, because these buffs seem quite significant. Okay, 50% attack and HP. That is a lot, I believe. But the power does not go so well. So let's activate that. Okay, I got all the pieces here, as you can see. And there's nothing else, right? You got quite a lot of them. So as someone said, another another big diamond sink. I think this is going to be more uh, a long term goal than um, obviously I am not going to go further into that. Uh, as you guys see, these buffs specific. These actually buff specific factions. So uh, I can't. I can't. I can't do that. On this account, okay, I can only leave it at as this to make my feather testing uh, as equal as possible. Okay, so I am not going to do anything with that mode um, on this account. Okay, so if anything for that, you guys need to ask other other content creators because I'm not gonna buff one faction more than the other because that will make everything else um, significant okay so yeah we've got chess and uh, all that sorted so now what's that right any guesses oh astro that is good okay so while i do that guys any guesses what that is about what what, what that even is obviously so you're not allowed to speak <laughs> okay so uh corn and apple of eden See what's in the spells as well. Replenish. Ah, uh, no pack. Uh, the emblems are here. Okay, so your training will have artifact, battle scar, and emblems. Right. So for those of you, let's click on it. Let's see what it is. And that's another Assassin Creed event. All right, remember guys, this is a test server, right? So everything you see here might be changed and I'm not gonna go in depth into that, okay? So yeah, this is basically everything. I believe Saul will cover Battle Scar. I believe he's got something else in, in his mind as well to cover. So uh, this is pretty much it. Let's do the quiz. Uh, <laughs> Let's do the quiz. 
And after the quiz, that will be me finished for today. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't have Assassin and I don't have Ezio and I don't have Spartan because when the uh, Assassin's Creed event was going on, I was not playing the game, basically. I, I was like one week or two weeks without the game. And also, guys, um, how long it is till we get IP? Because uh, there might be an issue. 11 days, 11 days, okay, from that, basically, next week. Next week or two weeks from now, I'll be able to test it. Okay, but if it's two weeks from now, I might not be streaming, okay, between 29th of July to 12th of August, I might not be streaming, guys, okay? My parents are visiting me, and obviously I will spend more time with them. So I might actually stream, but it will be a quick stream, right? So two and a half weeks, so basically I can test it in one and a half, yeah. So, so we'll see, okay? Uh, can't make any promises right now. Okay, but let's jump into the question. Okay, let's give out these 500 diamonds five times today uh, So yeah mm, Let's clean the chat. I'm gonna count to five and we're gonna do it one two three four five Okay, well done guys let's quickly jump into the answer which is c yes hell hands okay let me quickly see who's the winner so the first five are mono minion orange mr soul hollow Tal Cohen, it's fourth, and Gurabe. Okay, so these are the five winners, guys. Okay, let's see who's I got and who's I don't. Okay, so I believe I got mono, yeah. Uh, see you later, Adrian. <laughs> Andrew G, you might have been first on your screen, but definitely not on mine. Uh, let's go minion orange. Okay, you haven't won in a while. Okay, the last time was in March. And NA16. Yes, if it's just stay with me and I'll do it. Okay, let me just get everyone's uh, information. Uh, yeah, Andrew, it's different on everyone else's screen. Okay, this is why I'll obviously do it with mine because I can't see what's happening on your screen. Uh, Mr. Soho, I think I'll need your data. I'm looking back at all the previous winners. Wow. I can't find anything. Yeah, definitely. Uh, just, just send it to me and I'll have it. Maybe you won something, but maybe ages ago. Yeah, I mean, 2021 now and I don't see you. Yeah, so uh, Mr. So Hello, please send me your details. And I'll go forward with uh, Tal. Tal EU76. And Gura EU20. Yeah, if you want long time ago, let me just scroll back, but it will be easier if you actually uh, send these details. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah, I had so many winners, so many different winners. Uh, whichever, whichever, whichever suits you, you can send it here, you can send it on Discord. It's like, I don't, I don't think there's anything people can do with your ID. <laughs> Bye, so enjoy, have fun. <laughs> Okay, I got your information. Okay, so just to confirm you're playing on EU72 server. Yeah. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching my stream today. Um, I'm still talking with Huey uh, about this campaign they released. Obviously, they released it with uh, Ubisoft together, but it's mostly Huey who deals with it. Sadly, it's not working for quite a lot of people. I'm not even sure if there's anyone who uh, was successful because no one actually commented about it. Uh, hopefully, it will get resolved because uh, if you are lucky, you can get quite good coupons. And even if you get uh, like 50% of... Uh, purchase that's above four you can get this uh path of assassin emblems for like two pounds which is a good price okay hopefully it will get resolved as soon as because i want to use that deal okay i want to use that deal for fiona i want i want i want to have some good coupons maybe i will uh, anyway thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next week where i'll test either spartan weapon or something that i'm already behind on okay there's a lot of um there's a lot of things up believe I'm behind yeah anyway take care guys and I'll see you next week oh sorry uh Ivica are you still here yes I was supposed to do one more thing um can you please test dragon mirror match against Adela Yeah, okay, so let's do that, okay? Let's do it as a last thing. Uh, okay, you want Draken? You need to tell me the setup, because obviously Clonin, Clonin will try to clone that. Yeah, so both of them are okay then. Or oh, we do it like that, yeah. Oh, you want to see Naga performance. All right. Oh, so hold on. Yeah, no, it has to be before behind the G. Okay, everything seems all right. Let's run it. Oh, <laughs> I didn't press the button.
Okay, Arkin Archer was cloned. Are you happy with that? Or you want me to just run another one? Let's just run another one. So at least we got two. Come on. Let's see how Paladin does. Yeah, that's the problem with the G at the moment. It's falling behind everything, uh, every other tank. Well, not every other tank, but there's Paladin who's very superior right now. Okay, that was a little bit better. Because yeah, MMM uh, Marksman was in another line, and yeah, that is quite good. That's fine, guys, I can do that. I wonder if that guy goes to a weapon. Oh, that is a big difference. Okay, but let's do let's do one more thing. Okay, because uh, obviously that's Naga into a four unit tank. Okay, let's let's try this. This may be a little bit different now. Okay, but obviously they all still go so close together that it might be not significant. Yes, you see what I mean? So basically when it's against Paladin, it does a lot of damage. When it's against uh, DG, it does not. So it's basically wherever you put it, okay? All right, guys, anyway, that's it for today, and I'll see you next week. Bye.